With winter right around the corner, ice and snow add even more dangers to drivers. And because of that, the Boise Fire Department responds to multiple slide offs along Bogus Basin Road each season. So before the snow hits, firefighters held rescue training today on that very same road. Our Misty England was there to see how the training works. Misty? Well, Kim, a fire captain that I spoke with today told me they have between six and 10 slide offs on average along Bogus Basin Road each season. Now, some of those are more minor, like sliding off into a ditch, but the firefighters have to be prepared for any type of scenario. It's a type of rescue the Boise Fire Department responds to several times each winter. We like to get up here before the snow starts coming. Because steep drop offs and slick winter roads mean multiple slide offs along Bogus Basin Road. The time one copies. And emergency responders need to be prepared for any scenario. So we're all on the same sheet of music and we're well rehearsed for the upcoming season. While some slide offs are less serious, there are cases like this training where people have to be extricated from a car at the bottom of a steep, rocky slope. And our technical rescue team uses, it's called a capstan system. A capstan is a type of power wench adapted for rescues. They can use that to tension the ropes, bring a patient and the rescuers up with what used to take us elaborate rope systems and eight to 12 rescuers. Making sure firefighters are well trained on equipment like this is invaluable. Boise Fire Captain Brent Matthews has been a part of the special operations team for 15 years and has done multiple trainings like this. You can't prepare for everything and that's the toughest part. But he says with every training, he always takes away something new to improve on. He adds these trainings offer more than just technical experience. It also provides a chance to focus on teamwork and communication. Seems like when anything goes bad on any of our emergency scenes, the first thing that goes wrong is communication. Because Boise is very outdoor based with things like hiking, biking and skiing, continuous trainings in different types of scenarios are not only valuable to emergency responders, but to the community. Having us train for those type of scenarios makes the citizens of Boise safer in every way possible. Rescue complete, both patients being transported. Now after the training, the crew tells me they'll all meet together and debrief, talk about what went right, what they need to work on so they can be even more prepared when winter hits. It'd be Kim. nice if they didn't have to use that at all. Yeah, all right, Misty, but it's nice they're prepared.